in our last talk in uh, the previous module, we ended with a conclusion that says that Garai's theory not only tells us how meaning is generated, created during communication, it also offers a solution to counter gendered language, sexist language, the language which shows preference of one sex, one gender over the other. So this correction or reform of language is called political correctness. This is political correctness. It is not grammatical correctness. Uh, let me explain it briefly. Political because this correctness is advocated by feminists. And feminists are, you know, political. That's why we call it political correction. Okay. Sexist words are not just words. They are ideas. We, when you use such words in your talk, they convey usually a negative evaluation of women. So there is need of language reform. And this need and demand of language reform is our political correctness, as we said informally in the introduction. How can women do this correction? Women are their representative, feminists, feminist activists, in other words. Here, Grey's theory would help us. Rather, would help the women and the feminists. Grey's theory guides them that as a group, through agreement, they can cooperate. And with the help of this cooperation and agreement, a common meaning of words with positive evaluation of women can be generated. Do what the men do. They assign words because of agreement through cooperation. So, so women should do. This is how his theory is helpful. After that, after all, they too are language users. And his theory says that language users assign meaning regardless whether the user is man or woman. So this is how this theory is very, very helpful to counter this sexist uh, use of language. This type of reform is sometimes discouraged because it is done openly. As I said, this is a demand. People, especially feminists, they advocate it in public. They ask from government, from organizations, from universities, from other such institutes that people should avoid sexist language. Uh, please remember this term doesn't mean anything which uh, shows sexual activity. Sexist means the language that shows preference of one sex over the other when we use language. So we are using sexism and sexist in this sense. Now, continuing our point. They demand political correctness of language openly, publicly. Otherwise, Political correctness of language is common in banks, universities, and other institutes. What feminists do that is not uncommon, that is a common practice everywhere in society because of the influence of the sense of gender equality and other feelings like egalitarianism, human rights, etc., because of the influence of such things these days. 
difference is being reduced. So the same happens with uh, uh, the case of sexist language. Okay. Why this public demand, why this demand for correction is discouraged, disliked, or sometimes suppressed by people of power because it is done openly. Otherwise, this is also done by banks and other institutes. But they do it implicitly, indirectly, not openly. Account types, for example, what banks do, they offer different types of accounts and other bank services. What they call them? Products, financial products. Okay, students are called consumers, consumers and clients in universities. You can see their prospectuses. Similarly, testing agencies which conduct tests, NTS, etc., IELTS, etc. So, if you see their material, they would present their tests as their products. They are selling their products. So, the language of consumerism, the language of commercialism is intruding in these areas. Right? So, this is what is this? This is also a kind of correctness, but this is being done silently, implicitly, indirectly. So, feminists are not doing anything new when they demand for political correctness. This is the point. If feminists and governments reform sexist language, the words will be out. And when the words would be out, the negative ideas about women would automatically be out. That's why it is needed. As a result of this awareness in society in general, use of generic terms is out now. What do we mean by generic term? For example, generic he. We use it or we have been using it to include women as well. This is called generic he. That includes both sexes. What happens? In a way, you exclude women and their identity. You efface their presence as human being. Similarly, the generic use of men, as we see in mankind, when you use the term mankind, so women are also there. Why don't we use the term womankind? Okay, that's why these days we use humankind or human beings, etc. So there is a task for you because this is very interesting topic. You should have some kind of practical exercise in language correctness. Collect at least 10 words or expressions. When I use the term expression, it means phrases and sentences. Okay. This term expression covers words, phrases, clauses, everything. So, collect 10 such examples from any English into English dictionary, not from bilingual dictionary, English into Urdu or Urdu into English. English into English dictionary like Oxford Dictionary, Advanced Learner's Dictionary, etc., or any textbook of English. Do you think, after collecting those examples, think about them, do you think they are sexist in meaning? If yes, suggest the reformed expressions in place of those, so that no sex preference is expressed through them. I give you a hint. If you consult dictionaries these days, they give a sign of warning with such words to show that these words are sexist. Avoid using them in your writing or speaking. So you can easily uh, collect such examples from dictionary. We conclude. 
from the start. Garai's theory of meaning, meaning in communication, not meaning in words. We are again and again saying, he says we create meaning, we mean speakers create meaning in communication. This is his theory of meaning, tells us what this theory tells us, how is sexist language produced in English, if we talk particularly about this language, how can sexist language can be reformed. So it points out the problem and it also offers the solution to that problem.